That's disabled because it's already enabled. You picked a bad time to get lost, oh, friends. The hell are you? What the hell? Be careful! Foot of the mountain. Camilla's note. Camilla's note. Isidore, got a delivery job for us. Meet me out near uh, Cragwellow Slope in East March. Leave as soon as you get this. I hear tale of some ruins there leading into Balathi Mountains, just uncovered by a landslide, they say. This is big. Fresh ruins. If we could be the first to pick them over, we could be rich. Who knows what's down there, though? Bring the best gear you can lay your hands on. Pick off someone on the road with good stuff if you have to. Just get it and get to me as quick as you can. Hmm. A quest, huh? Hmm. These are my septums now, mister. Now that we're friends, that means I can steal from you, and you don't care. some weapons and armor to sell to you. Lucan. Ah, good to see you. A little coin always greases the wheels. Till next time, you and me. A little coin always greases the wheels. The Riverwood Trader is everything. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll... Mm -hmm. Must be too late at night to sell stuff to What him. are you doing that for? Yeah, his shop is closed at this hour. That's why he won't sell to me. Hmm. Look at all that HD cabbage right there. Let's see now. It's HD cabbage, though, so it looks pretty, even if it tastes like crap. Cerberus is steel, so I need to melt thousands of steel.
breaking all that stuff down. Those fittings and stuff would be useful for later. Uh, blocking 30% damage, targeting attackers in range, melee range. Hook of the Dragon. At successful time block within 8 feet, you may retaliate with increased strength, increasing your attack damage, strike damage against attacker by 25% for 5 seconds. That sounds really useful. Time block, boom, instant attack. Follow up. That sounds... Delicious. Ah, oh, look at that fog. Beautiful. We should head to White Run. Uh, not every mod is compatible with each other. Unless you're an experienced modder and can edit it manually with the creation kit. Very bad kitty. Super bad kitty. I'm an experienced modder and it took me about 20 hours to install the mods on the Nordic Guide. Now he hit me for half my health. You weren't paying attention there. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a cow with painting on it. Nords like to do that. dark out, but the sun's coming up in a few minutes. We'll go to see again. Oh, sorry. That's probably a giant's cow then.
make it brighter. I just swapped the mod out, so make the lanterns on the road brighter. They're a little dim. Just a quick swap. Eric Wolf, what? Yeah. sun's coming up and he was right it's tomorrow and the sun is coming out I bet my bottom dollar Butterflies in the sky. Hmm. I see a nern root. Let's go grab that. A weird sound the thing's making. That's taken care of. No thanks to you. Get him. Kill him. You didn't look like you needed my help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. What? What's a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order... Warriors, we are brothers and sisters in honor. What am I in combat with? Watch what you're doing. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly, that's why I'm here with my sheep. An out, an order of war, and we show up to solve problems if the Can I join you? Not for me to say. The old man's. Go if you go to him. Oh, whoops. Good luck. Thank you. God, why does it feel like better message boss controls are not actually installed? Arvin, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, be looting more stuff for alchemy. There, it's better now. Just scattered clouds. 
a horsey. By Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Loria's farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthka. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. Dan, ha ha. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in the field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, that now jesters. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skulvar. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Well, goodbye. I'll talk to you later. The companions have to be probably the weakest faction. It's just so short. Such a short, short, short bust. It's over just so quickly. Yeah, all the factions are short because, if you didn't know, they originally weren't going to have any handcrafted quests in Skyrim. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Every quest was going to be 100% radiant. Radiant only. But then, thankfully, thank God, someone woke up and was like, wait a minute, that would be horrible. So they uh, added a bunch of quests back in, but... They didn't have time to like make them super long like Oblivion. Riverwood calls for you the Jarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Lavender. What's a Radiant Quest? Radiant Quests are when it's when a guy's like, hey, I've lost my sword. It's in a cave. Can you go find it? It's here. And then they just pick a random dungeon to put it inside. It's a quest that doesn't have a specific place. They can put it anywhere. Procedural quest, another way to put it. Hmm. Work it, girl. Work we'll pay it. whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Hi there. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. I've actually been there, and his shit is quite boring and plain. So I don't know what all the hype's about. Do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, wow, that transition I just finished there. my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll it's accept not it. Not Gruf, it's Gruff. Listen, could you take the sword to my father? Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. I'll do it. Thanks. Need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. So, no training? Just let me just do it? Okay. What can you tell about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. 
I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. We are running a face mod. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Vanilla faces are way uglier. You wanted a dagger. Got some good pieces out here if there you're looking. There you go. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. All right. Thanks for the business. Could have told me that when I was over there. Am I done now? Have you met my father? This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. I asked if you needed a little bit of help. All I right, then. I didn't realize I was working for you now. God. Fine, let me... Here's your I damn leather. I'm done, Norway. right? Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps fitting. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Son Here's of... the rest of what you need. Le mm -hmm. I... All right, I am done helping you, ma'am. You think this all the it. council? I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. It, I, but this is the last job, all right? And then I want Tahiti after this. <laughs> Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to... You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much um, anything to suit your needs. I have this iron dagger and helmet that you could have. Thanks, Thanks. for the business. White runs so colorful. You look worse than I feel. Are you always drunk? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. How dare you? I'm a paladin of righteousness. Then we got nothing more to talk about. Walk in. Sure. RK's whatever. favor, you Cretan. God damn him. Freaking evildoer. Cause trouble in Whiterun, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Ah, Bellathor. I'm in the market Welcome for a sister. Welcome to General Goods. Welcome indeed. Hi there. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. That's slavery, but okay. Uh, Exidy, thank you for the three-month resub. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. What brings a Breton to Skyrim? Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. 
Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Wow. Wow. Take a look. You're kind of an asshole. I have fish who don't like you. Man, almost nothing's worth any money. <laughs> it's all worth nothing. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. It's junk. And you know it's junk. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Fresh baked hmm? clothes. What a fool. I've been nothing? looking for you. So Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands Not right only. now. Your son chose his son. Let's and he see. Chose here. Looks like that's it. Now he's gone. Got to go. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my four out? <laughs> Do you believe this old hat? Shut your mouth, Tigger. Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, cow. Your stupid son is dead. That's he the voice died of Tigger. Storm cloak traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. <laughs> Hi there. All I can think about is my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle-born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it, too. And yet they lie to my very face. How do you know they're lying? It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. I am. Come and see my selection of the I would be proud to help you, madam. What are you doing that for? What? Do anything. Hi. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Did you kill all this game yourself? Oh, yes. Hunting is my great passion. That's why my brother and I opened a shop to sell hunting supplies. It's the drunken huntsman down by the main gate. He tends the store, and I've got this stall. Wait, 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 wait. So he gets to have a big ass store, and you get to have a little tiny shop out in the sun? Wow. Tired of bread and stew? Had enough of Hello, fish and friend. Fowl? Treat yourself and your kid. Is someone giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Wow. What if I ever talk to this Mikhail? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. This hammer will. Do you get a lot of attention from men? You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Goodbye. Be careful out there. What do you need? Some might call this junk. Me, Me, I call them, I call them treasures. treasures. Take care of yourself. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Chops and steaks fit for a Jarl. I still have a bunch of those coins, don't I? Heralds. 
Come and see my selection of the finest quality meats. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything! Take a look. So you don't. You actually won't buy my heralds for anything. I guess I get my speech craft up. Do come back. I swear they're buying it at nothing. Might be that's causing it to sell for nothing. Do come back. I'd even trinkets, odds and ends, that, that sort, sort of thing. thing. No, it sells for nothing. Prices I'm getting are oh, a bit of this. god awful. A bit of that. Yeah, for some reason, like, he won't buy anything of mine. You just let me know what you need. I am at your beck and call. What are you doing? F. There's perks from economy overhaul. Is that what's going on? Uh, for better prices. Oh, that's probably what's going on. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. You look well, Nazaro, that's why they look in vanilla. Could be a taxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Your face is ugly, lady. So you're a healer? Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. What do you got for sale? Ah. So you're an alchemist then. Slight bit of. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I think most people misremember how people in Skyrim look, so they for, they think it looks one way, but in really 
in reality, it looks way worse than they remember. If anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Because we want it to be good in our head, but when we actually see it, we're like, oh. I don't remember that. It looks that bad by default? Oh, shit. Oblivion is the worst at that. You have a picture in your mind of what Oblivion people look like, and then... And you see them, and then you're like, oh, shit. What are you doing over there, ma'am? I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Well, let's go to make some potions. That's a fine potion we put together. Please don't comment on every potion I make, madam. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Who are you talking to? Is there anything I can help you with? You have but to ask. How about some silence? You got any of that? I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know. Of service. I sell cures for all ills. Still going. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Shut up! <laughs> you oh, that's a good one. Tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. To your heart You're gonna to find a fist in your face if you don't shut up! I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. <laughs> You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. She's testing my patience. Remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do I know if I can be of service? <sighs> if there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask.
do you feel? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Yes, yes I am. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Herbalist Guide to Skyrim. Hmm. Death Bell. Dragonfly. Hmm. Hagraven Claw. Jabe. Lovely. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Out of my way. Yeah, the re reduction in radius should have already been in effect. Doesn't seem like it's working though. Take it. Let's see what's in here. Thank you. Thank Come on you. in. No, Just please. Stoke the fire. Hold your Take a seat and get the One more out. song. What say you? Yeah? All right then. No. No, no. Now, if it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. You Once need to Kyle leave Colada Valenta alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. She's not yours. Stop this nonsense. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. <gasps> oh, say Leave her alone or else. I don't have to take that from you. Come on, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him get away with this. It's ah. nothing. <coughs> I'll kick Just your ass, sir. Scratch. You will not defile a young lady. How glad she deserves your respect. Hashtag me too, god damn it. Don't you will not treat her like this. that. You will treat all women with respect like you want to be treated. You know how to throw a punch, I'll give you that. You leave her alone or this gets worse, buddy. I will smite your ass. You win. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. Well, my armor is painted white for a reason. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. Um, you must really love to fight. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That, and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. It's not like you got a grudge. You've been talking to those companions. Too hot-headed, they cried. Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them. This is an ode to Skyrim's Why the companions projects? reject you? It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess I thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. <laughs> you killed him? What? The killer of kings. You killed a young boy? Of your death we will drink Are you freaking peace. nuts? Of course they denied you. You're crazy. Ah. Uh, 
It's like you're already suffering, though, so I don't need to smite but you today. This land is ours. Good. Chat it time. Wiped over. clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fellow who wrote the cookbook. <laughs> Keep going. If it's work you need, how about shopping up some wood for the fires? Are any rumors lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Oh. Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind district? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. <coughs> any other rumors? People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. The companions in Jorvasker? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. We're gonna worry about magic. Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Need anything else? Just let me know. She's a little racist. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Baby, around you I am thirsty. Now please, no more questions. Hi. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Tired of bread and stew. Curved swords? No way. Heard something happened in the tree at the temple. The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. Finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. What's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Where is the tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get it for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Tired of bread and stew? Well met, traveler. What brings you to White Run? I'm here to help in any way I can. Truly? Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of White Run, and can set you on the path. You live here? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning. Along with the Grey Males. Our family's been close as kin for generations. But Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising 
has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Fresh vegetables for sale. Hold on. Sub surface scattering that's causing the problem. Can you replace second fine work? Ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. You're of Asker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Goodbye. May your sword be sharp. And your tongue sharper. Ew. Oh no. Talos! For you, red legions! For I love you! You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Why was Talos worship outlawed? Because the so called emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the Tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never... Forsake mighty Talos. Aren't you worried you'll be arrested? <laughs> Let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips, his voice in my throat. What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice. And with it, he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tones on the subject. Hmm. I love, love. Even well, if he's so powerful and a god, why doesn't he come down and change it? Instead of hiding up there. 
but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. Good men? I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Wow. Safir, are you feeling sick? Uh, you're not from Skyrim, are you? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common, then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. What were you arguing about? My Sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help find the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Hmm. Goodbye. Wait, I... What? Love you? Follow boy, give me your money. I... I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now or I'm gonna bloody your nose. No, please! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really whoa. don't have any money, Braith. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. Whoa! Whoa! What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. Oh, hell no, you little witch. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. What does a kid do for fun around here? Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the gray main zone. <laughs> and me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. Mm-hmm. What's so fun about pushing a cow over? People in real life do that too. They push cows over. I don't understand it. Like, what's. Why do you get joy out of hurting an animal like that? I just like randomly pushing the cow over. It's like, really? 